So today, I'm gonna give you three tips on how to get into the nursing informatics field. Here. You gotta be a nurse. That's not a tip. That's a fact, Jack. The first tip I want to give you is become the unit super user. What is a super user? Everybody has a super user, right? That's somebody that when technology changes in your hospital or when some system's gonna come up, you have these people with capes flying around saying, are you okay? Do you need help? Do you need help? Okay, they don't really wear a cape. You know that. But they're there for you. They're there for you to be successful in whatever changes has happened. Super users are very engaged. They help out with the nursing informatics department. They're also there whenever there's a, a go live. So they're rounding with the nurse informatics specialist. They're helping out. They're on the schedule. They're doing what they can do in order to make the project successful. And we love that. Yes, we do. So if you ever get the opportunity to be a super user, take it. Let them know your name. Let them know that you're there for them and let them know you are super. The next tip I'm gonna give you is stay engaged on your unit with technology. Be the nurse geek. If the DVD player is not working or there's a television problem or maybe somebody needs help with documentation somewhere, be that person. Be, hey, I'll help. I totally was exaggerating, but I'm so for real, for real. Let people know that you are there for the tech. Being that go-to person is so important. It helps you with leadership skills. It helps you be engaged on the unit. Your manager, your A&M, whoever your supervisor is, is like, that's the go-to person with technology. And when it comes down to give references, you have a lot of backup. Trust me when I say this, let people know you help when they need help. Also a benefit about being engaged on the unit with any type of technology is that when an informatics nurse specialist is seeking out someone to be a super user, people are like, go there, go there, go there, they know that that person over there. They will immediately go to you because you're that person, which is awesome. Point number three, or tip number three, leadership. Leadership is so important and I've calmed my voice down because leadership is so important and no, you don't need a big degree to have leadership skills. <laughs> you can totally practice leadership. There's so many tips on, the, on YouTube, tips and books, wherever you can find. Just make sure you are a positive influence on your unit. Informatics nurse specialists don't want to deal with somebody with a nasty attitude. You know what I mean? We look for positivity. We look for engagement. We look for someone that can lead the way for their unit. We are tech changers and we need people that are positive about change and have some type of leadership skills in order to help with the change. If you're a negative Nancy, no offense Nancy, whoever you are, if you're out there, don't mean you in general. We just like you to be positive. Leaders lead the way. Be the first to accept the technology. Be the first to be positive. Nobody likes change. I get it. But you should be the one to say, hey you guys, this is happening whether we like it or not. Let's just make it happen. Yeah, I totally feel that right now because that's seriously what we do all the time. <laughs> Leadership comes being that leader, making sure that you stay positive, making sure you, you, you make a difference on the unit, a positive difference, not a negative one. Make sure you're always communicating with your staff, your coworkers, your peers, of changes that are coming, tech changes, it makes a difference and it builds up your leadership skills. Be a charge nurse, be a, a relief charge nurse, whatever you have to do in order to gain leadership skills. Be a part of like a program on your unit that pays you or maybe you have to volunteer, I don't know, to be like a specialty in technology. You know, they have like diabetes specialists, IV specialists on your units. Hey, be that person that's, hey, I wanna be informatics specialist, yeah. 
it makes a difference. Those are leadership skills that you can acquire. Also, like I mentioned before, read a book, watch a YouTube video, do something, gain some type of leadership skills. Because when you're an informatics nurse specialist, as a leader, you will be collaborating with tons of people, executives down to anyone. Nobody's down, that's why I said it like that. <laughs> And what's gonna be important is you know how to collaborate and you know how to lead the conversation and do it well, do it fair, and do it justice for the safety of the patients. All right, that's all I have for you today. I hope those three tips, three points help you out with becoming an informatics specialist. Please subscribe down below. I'll be sharing way more tips about the nursing informatics field. I'm excited to do so. See ya.